my figure shit. It's that step in. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia and welcome back to another weekly vlog. So I I have said this so many times that I'm gonna try to start vlogging more. Like I now I have two SD cards, so I can you know my footage can kind of sit. Well, y'all already know the issue with the um, laptop or whatever. So and now I can kind of split my footage up. Like I have footage over there. Normally I wouldn't vlog because I wouldn't have enough space on my uh, SD card. Because so now I have like vlog footage on that one over there, and this card that I'm on right now. It's empty other than what I'm doing right now. So I wanted to go ahead and start another vlog and I'll just edit. I was about, <clears throat> I was about to say email that one. I was about to, uh, I'll edit that one sometime over the weekend, probably not Friday night because I have to edit my um, layering video Friday night. But I wanted to go ahead and start this vlog, do a quick little intro, do a very small haul with you guys. Um, so, also, these are my new nails. Like, that, why is there a shadow on there? The shadow is the camera, girl. So, these are my new nails. No, whatever. I did these. When did I do these? Saturday night, I think it was. Like, at 11 o'clock, I started doing these. I want to say I finished them at 1 something. 12 something? 1 something. I don't know. Anyways, but I got this idea off of Instagram from someone on Instagram that has a nail page called Cold Nails. And where I have the blue at right there, she had like lime green or bar like the neon yellow color. So instead of the blue stripe, she had a yellow stripe there and then a yellow one right there. And hers, you see how mine are like true polka dots? Hers were not like polka dots like that. Hers were like kind of like it's somebody, it kind of looked like she took tissue paper and just pressed it down on the nail or something like that. I don't know the nail tech, so I don't know how she did it. And I was like, I'm not about to be searching how to do that specifically on the nail. I now just do polka dots. So that's what I did. This driving me crazy that the camera is like that at the bottom. But that's because I put my light way over there because of where I'm sitting. So it wouldn't be like shining to you guys through this um, mirror. But anyways... I'm going to go ahead and just share you guys. I had some other stuff over there and I'm like, so I stocked up on a few things actually. And like I restocked my toothpaste and off Amazon, I bought the four pack. Um, I bought, there was something else I bought. My phone is dead, so I can't even pull it up to show y'all. I bought these UV shield gloves for when I do my gel nails or whatever to protect my um, hands with my body or whatever from the UV light because everything is threatening to give us cancer. So I was like, well, let me just buy these gloves and put these on. I bought this gel polish and this is like a clear pink color. It looks, it looks like that, but it actually, this is the color right here. That is the, um, so it's like a sheer pink. It's like, like when I used to get white and pink done, that's what they started calling it at the nail shop. That's pretty much the pink. It's white and pink. So it's like the perfect shade of pink for when you want pink, like a pink nail bed, but keep your nail clear. But this is just what it looks like um, out of the bottle. I got this from Amazon. I want to say this was $5.99 for this one. If y'all do your gel nails and want this shade, this color, let me know and I'll um I'll probably make a gel nail Amazon storefront so that I can put all the stuff in there because I've been getting other stuff. Um, next thing I ordered was this Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water. I keep seeing this on TikTok and I bought this for Keelan so that she could use this. But I keep seeing this on TikTok over and over and over again for um, brown skin girls that use like that need an acid. Uh, so like I said, it's Mandelic Acid 5% Skin Prep Water. A gentle exfoliating water developed to smoothen skin tone and texture. Then it says Mandelic Acid 5%. Removes dead skin cells. Then there's a sticker over on this that I can't even pull off. Works gently on the surface of the skin, removing built up dead skin to enhance the efforts. I'm sorry, to enhance the effects of following skincare products. It helps even out dull and or uneven skin tone and smoothens rough skin. 
So that's that. But like I said, I bought that for Keelan, but I don't even know if she's going to wear it because her, use it because her skin is going so crazy. Um, I also ordered from so, oh, the other stuff, like I said, y'all, I don't remember. I don't remember what it is. Right now, I'm waiting on a, well, I got my support order. I'm waiting on a D&D &D jail order. And I'm waiting on, it's three different orders I'm waiting, I was waiting on. Oh, fragrance net. So, every, like those two are right here. But there was other stuff in this other Amazon package that I don't, I don't know. I don't remember what it is. Anyways, I bought the one size ultimate setting powder in translucent. And this is the mini. I also got the until um on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray. These are both the minis. I want to say these were like $17 for these freaking things. And is if I'm not mistaken, Sephora only had the minis on their website. So where are y'all finding the full size bottle of this spray? Because this the amount of times I like to spray my setting spray on my makeup, especially if I'm going to go somewhere, this ain't going to last me no time. Even though when I have makeup products, they last forever. Because, oh, yeah. If y'all if see this stuff on my face. Oh, it then sunk into my skin. But um, I got these two pimples that popped up almost in the same spot. Two there. And then one here that popped up, but I put a patch on it and it pulled it out. And months ago, I had the same, same exact freaking spot on my both both pimples. It's so weird. But yeah, so I guess this, does he have a website that he sells these on? I guess I'll have to look on there. I saw this in Sephora one day and they had one left and it was the full size bottle and I picked it up and put it back. To this day, I regret not buying that because it has not been there since. And for him to do so well and for them to have sold so good and everybody wants to run out and get it, I'm surprised that he they're not they don't have them have more of them. I don't know. Anyways, my other the other thing that I got from Sephora is this necessary body lotion. Y'all remember I had this in a little, you know how you order the samples that's from Sephora when you place an order and they send you like a little packet. I stretched that packet out for a while and the only reason I finally squirted all of it and got rid of it is because I was going on a cruise or whatever and I was like I don't want this to dry up by the time I get home because it's going to be open so I went ahead and used it. So I ordered this one. This size was $28. Y'all know that I have to absolutely love this lotion for me to have bought it. First, first of all, for $28 for a lotion. Second of all, it's fragrance free. Has no perfume, scent, or anything like that in it. But I bought it because of how it feels. I got that sample on a whim. I was just curious about... I was curious about it. I was like, well, I'm not going to buy the lotion. So let me just get this sample and see what it's like. And when I got the sample, I was like, oh my God, I love this lotion. So the squirt comes out that size when it looks like that that's the size of the hole or whatever y'all I absolutely love this lotion it is so moisturizing it's not like sticky it doesn't I don't know it's like the perfect consistency on your skin the way it feels and when I tell you you feel so moisturized after using this but I absolutely love the way it feels so that's why I went ahead and broke down and ordered it because like I said it's $28 $28 dollars for a lotion and it ain't got no scent to it but this is going to be perfect because I can use this underneath my scented um, lotions or body oils and then I can also use this at night when I go to bed because how moisturizing it is but I can use this as my moisture and just put whatever my scented stuff is on top of it and then last but not least y'all I have told y'all so many times that I absolutely love this perfume and that I would never go without it so last week I sprayed up my last drop of it and I was like I need to go ahead and get my perfume again because it was at the bottom for so long and now that it's gone I need to get another one I told y'all I love this. And when I told y'all I love it, I meant that I love it. And I was like, stop playing out here with that little one ounce bottle that you keep ordering. So I went ahead and got the 2.7 in this because I know how I spray it and I know how much I love it. So we got the almost big dog. Is there, I'm sure there's probably a 3.4 in this. I don't know, but this one is big enough because my other one was like this big, the actual juice size of the bottle. I think it was like that big. The one ounce, of course, is small. 
So like I said, 2.7. We got this. I'm not going to spray it on right now because I have something else on my arm that I'm testing out because I ordered it. It's sitting over there and I did a review on it. And the review was not a good review and I've been letting it sit. So it's been sitting a week, I think. And it's it's finally coming to life because I was going to send it back and ask for my money back or whatever. But now it's coming to life. So I think I'm going to keep it. I'm going to give it a few more days, maybe another week so that I can really, really decide, OK, yeah, I want to keep it. But it's doing a whole lot better now than it did when I first ordered it, because when I ordered it at first, hardly had any scent. And I was like, OK, you need to give it a little while. Not to let it sit there because, you know, in the traveling and the shipping, it gets shook up. It does all this crazy stuff. So it's been sitting. I hadn't been touching it until tonight. And it's finally come to life. And I'm excited about it because it's a dupe for a really expensive perfume. <laughs> OK, all right, you guys, so that's my little haul for right now. Um, it's, it's late. It's like it's probably almost 10 o'clock. So like I said, I just wanted to come on here and haul this stuff with y'all so that I can put it in its place. Because y'all know I will let it sit right there until I until I record it. So it's been sitting there and I'm going to... I was just trying to make sure I didn't forget anything else. Anyway, don't mind my hair, y'all. Y'all know I only, like I once I go back, I only take the front down. When I, like when I first get my hair done... I wear it until it gets like this and then I'll take the front down, let her redo the front and then wear it again. And then that second time I'll take my whole head down after it's time to get redone. So I won't take my braids in the back down the, until I have gotten the top done again. But she is booked up for the entire month of June. So I won't get to get in there and get my hair done until July. And y'all see how bad this already is? Y'all see this, my new girl? But I've been wearing like a scarf across the front. Actually, right here. This, I've been wearing this across the front of my head. It's kind of neutral because it's tan and brown and gold. It don't matter. I'm wearing it with everything because I'm not taking my hair down until I get this front redone. I'm just not. Because that's what grew my hair the last time. I'm just keeping my hair oiled and I'm going to keep rolling with it or whatever. So... I'm going to be waiting. I'm going to be looking at her um, books or well, her posts on Facebook because she'll let us know when she opens her book up or whatever. I'm going to be stalking her page. Um, and I actually am on vacation, I think, the first week of July, like around 4th of July. So hopefully she's. I, hopefully they don't book up too fast that I can't get in there because if they do, I'm going to end up having to take my hair down. And I really, really don't want to. Whatever. because like I said this is how I get my hair to grow is by doing this and I figured this out by default but yeah so overlook my hair I put it up in a bun like this when I went and got in the shower but normally like this would be hidden because like I said I wear the scarf because it look a hot mess right now but yeah that is the, all I wanted to come on here and start the it's all we 14 minutes in that's look that's all I wanted <laughs> it was something else I was going to tell y'all a second ago but I done forgot but yeah, um, I will just pick you guys up tomorrow. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I have, con um, I went to the eye doctor, I got a new prescription for my glasses, and then I got some trial contacts. So you know that I told y'all I hadn't been doing my makeup because the contacts just did not work for me. So in the last time I did do a makeup review, I was putting my glasses on and off. Well, I have contact, a pair of contacts now. They're the trial ones, and it's, or it's for me to see if I'll actually need a different size because this eye is a problem eye. But I think the set that they gave me is actually going to work. So I'm going to get back into doing my makeup on camera and just utilizing all the stuff that I spent my money on. Okay? So I'm glad about that. And the contacts are very comfortable. I was supposed, I'm, I'm supposed to wear them, she was like for five days straight, wear them seven days, seven hours a day. But it's not going to work the five days straight because I put my glasses on. Tomorrow I'm going to have my glasses on because I'm, my co-workers were going, they're like thanking us for whatever. So they're taking us to dinner at my job after work tomorrow. So I won't have them on then. Friday, I can put them on Friday night, I guess. Then they, um, I'm not putting them on Friday night either because I have to record Friday night. And in order for me to wear my contacts, I... Gotta, I gotta cover my dark circles. I don't wanna be just sitting around 
with my contacts on and my dark circles showing because I hate them. Like, look at them. But if I cover them and lighten them up, it changes my whole face or whatever. So, Saturday. Well, I work Saturday morning. Anyway, <laughs> I'll try them out. She was going out of town anyways. And so, by the time I have to contact her back, I would have worn them to, enough to see if they work for me or not. But anyways, like I said, 16 minutes in. Let me let y'all go. I plan on talking this much. But again, I like talking. So that's why I said I was going to start vlogging more so that I could do this. All right. See y'all tomorrow. Hey, guys. So happy Thursday. I am on my lunch break. I literally only have like a few minutes before I have to go back in. Um, but I just wanted to come on here. Happy Tuesday. Happy Thursday. I don't know why I keep thinking today is Tuesday. Happy Thursday. Um, I ate my food, went to check my P.O. box, nothing was in there or whatever. Um, but tonight, I don't think I'm going to vlog that much because I'm going, my coworkers and I are, we're going out to eat, to celebrate or whatever. Well, not really celebrate. We're going out to dinner together, um, when we get off today and we're going to Patio 44. So by the, I know by the time we get off, go there, eat and I make it home and do everything I need to do to get ready for work tomorrow. I probably won't pick up the camera tonight because I know when I get home, it's gonna be get home, get myself ready for, like I wonder when people, me and my coworker were talking about this one day. And it's like when people, like when you work a full time job and there are people that get out work and they just be out and about having fun, living life and doing all these things after work. It's like, why does it feel like my gum is dry over here? We were like, I was like, how do those people do that? <laughs> like, do you not have routines when you get off or stuff that you need to do to get ready for the next day for work? Because when I get off, I am very much routine when I get off. Like, there are things that I do every single night to get ready for work in the morning because I have to be up to go to the gym, then work and stuff like that. But people really get off and go hang out get off and go do this get off and go do that and i was like am i so that much of a like homebody that when i get off my first thought is what i need to do when i get home to get ready for the next day like i don't open my mind up to doing things until the weekend during the week it's like no i'm going home like of course something like this if my if we go out to eat for work i will or my co-workers are like y'all want to go eat mexican or something because it's normally during the week that's really what we do we don't really go other places during the week to eat unless it's like Mexican because that's kind of close if it's somebody's birthday like my brother he likes to celebrate on his birthday so if it falls during the week then we go out to eat that night whatever his birthday is but most of the time like stuff that I do is on the weekend and I was like are we that old because she a year older than me I was like are we that old that we act like old people that when we get off our mind frame is to wind down after work and go home and get ready for the next day <laughs> but Anyways, so like I can say we're gonna go eat when um when I get off. I need to be getting myself ready. Like I told y'all, I'm gonna start trying to I'm gonna start vlogging some more, you guys. Um, and I'm going like give me some since I'm gonna be getting back into makeup and all of that stuff. Like, what concealers do y'all use right now that y'all feel like are really really good concealers? Cause I have. Right now, the concealer that I have are Juvia's Place is normally what I use, but I have a concealer by Kevin Aquan. Maybe, I, but it's heavy. Like it cover the Kevin Aquan concealer. Will, and I don't even think it's called concealer. It's in a little pot. But that it's, it has another name. I don't think they call it concealer. That stuff will cover your sins. But I don't think I want anything that heavy because I'm going to try to get in the habit of wearing my contacts, at least on the weekend, until I get used to wearing them. But I know that I'm going to need something to cover like my dark circles because I'm not walking around here with my dark circles just like boom or whatever. So in order for me to get used to wearing my contacts, I'm going to have to cover my dark circles up some. I wish, I know there's a procedure that you can get 
like injections. I don't, I'm gonna have to look it up and see what type of inje injections that they are. Because I, it's somebody that I've seen on Instagram that does them, and it, like a girl that I follow gets them done. But whoever it is, it's like a celebrity or something like that. I just don't remember who it is or either or the doctor to even look it up. But I wanted, I was thinking about that earlier. Like I was like, I know that is an expensive procedure, but I would really love to have it done. Cause if I could get rid of these dark circles, more than likely I would wear my contacts as a daily thing because that's the only reason why I, well, I have a trial pair or whatever, but that's the only reason why I've never ordered the boxes because I'm like, I don't want to spend the money on the box and then not wear them every day. So with the trial pair I have right now, I'm going to try to wear them more, but I know I would order the box if I could get rid of my dark circle because that's the only thing. I don't feel like I have to wear makeup every day and stuff like that. My glasses blocks my dark circles, so I don't feel like there is no, like people don't notice them as much because they would have to look past my glasses, but I notice them and I hate them. <laughs> so it keeps me from wearing my contacts. Well, I just got, like I said, just got a new pair, but it keeps me from, I know that I would want to wear them more, but that stops me. Look at me, it's 2.44, I need to be back in at 2.45, and I'm sitting here like, let me go, y'all. And I'll just um, maybe peek out a little for a second when I get off or when we get there. Maybe not my camera. Yeah, maybe my camera. I don't know. I'll see. Hey, guys, so today is Friday. Of course, as, as always, I'm on my lunch break. I have been eating. Oh, 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 <laughs> I've been eating all day, y'all. And even though I've been eating all day, I still ended up hungry like two hours before. I ate break, I ate a banana and a peanut butter sandwich on my way to the gym. When I left the gym, I ate two plant-based um, blueberry pancakes on a stick. <laughs> um, I ate those actually around 9.30, 10 o'clock because I was on my way to where I am right now, working in a different branch. And about 12 o'clock, I was hungry to the point that in my mind I was like God please don't let me get anybody else to walk in because I need to go back here and grab my food and eat it I was like it was the hunger that was gonna make you sick type hunger and it's like why am I that hungry and I ate on my way here because I warmed my food excuse me I warmed my food up at my branch and I just ate on the drive to where I am right now and it was so crazy I was so I was starving but anyways, y'all, I saw the craziest thing. <laughs> I saw the craziest thing at work today. Like, I was, I've been here a long time, and <laughs> what I say, I was just in shock sitting there. I don't even, I don't even know if I can say it. it don't have nothing to do with it, any, anything that, like, with my job. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, but I've been here a long time, and I think that's the craziest thing I've ever seen. But anyways, I, while I was I'm over here, there's this. I always talk to y'all about the bakery, so I went to the bakery that's over here to get my family some cupcakes. I was gonna get them a cake, but they didn't even have any cakes other than like chocolate and like fancy type cakes. And I was like, I was just gonna get them a regular birthday cake because I know they like that, but. Let me see if I can show y'all. So I got them. So I got them these cupcakes or whatever. Two of them are regular, like cupcakes with regular icing on them. Let me sit y'all right and make sure y'all don't fall because then I'm going to have to decide which one I'm going to save. The cupcakes or the camera. <laughs> but um, yeah, so two of them have regular frosting on them, like regular thickness of frosting and the other ones have a mountain of frosting on them like the frosting is this freaking thick on the cupcakes i got four of the thick ones and two of the regular ones because i don't know which ones they will want but i'm gonna have to take them inside because of course there'll be cupcake juice by the time i get off work if i leave them out here in my car but when i tell y'all these cupcakes smell so freaking good with cake uh, uh, i'm gonna take a picture of them because i want to use this for my thumbnail but me and Keelan, tomorrow, tonight, of course, I got to record my, um, of course, tonight I have to record my layering video, and then I'm going to record my May favorite layering video, 
And then I, me and Keelan to, tomorrow, oh, I have to work in the morning, but tomorrow me and Keelan are going to play tennis, I think. Cause it's hot as Hades down here. So after I get out of work, I text her and was like, you wanna go play tennis tomorrow? So of course she was like, yeah, or whatever. So that's what we're supposed to be doing tomorrow. It's so crazy. This outfit, I don't even know where this sequin came from. This sequin is on one of the outfits, my jumpsuit that I wore on the cruise. And I be randomly finding this, this sequin this sequence just in random places because why was that on my arm right there i don't even know where that came from i wore the outfit on the cruise so that means i didn't even get in my car with the outfit on because i was on a cruise ship <laughs> i don't know but as of right now i have 4790 subscribers so i'm 10 subscribers was today friday so friday the friday June 7, 2024. I am 10 subscribers away from 4,800 subscribers. Y'all, I'm gonna be so excited when I get to 5,000 subscribers. Oh my goodness. But yeah, let me, um, let me, I'm watching Gina Jenny, you know, YouTube. Let me get over here. I'm gonna get over here so I can just actually chill for a chance on my lunch break. Cause I, I'm, oh, I'm always running, 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 running on my lunch break. And now I have the opportunity to just sit here. I already been, I already ran and did what I needed to do. So now I can just sit here and watch YouTube. I'll pick y'all back up later. Bye. Can you see my my handle in there? I think it is. Is it locked? Yeah, it's right there. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm about to do like a little hygiene shopping. We gonna see. That depends if they have something that I not necessarily want, but something that I need that I could actually use right now. Maybe a couple things that I might want, but more so like, oh yeah, I can use. It. I don't. I ain't gonna be just hit, first of all like buying random body wash and stuff like that. I'm not gonna do that because y'all know I gotta stick with Dove. So. Um, yeah, I mean, why Keelan got the tapping sound on her text message? They lying. Isn't it that? You know lying is a cuss word when you young. Yeah. When we was growing up. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in front of your mother. That's a cuss word in front of We couldn't up. say lying growing up. To, in front of no grown up. That was a curse word. Considered a curse word. It's like it was like considered a disrespectful word when you said that in front of grown ups. I thought it was when you said like to them. No, saying it period. We never could say that word, so it kind of makes me cringe when I hear you say it, because I know that we couldn't say it growing up. But I've never said, Keelan, don't say that to you. But we knew, don't say that word. What did y'all? Was it a cuss word for y'all growing up? Because it darn sure was for us. We had to say you telling a story. Well, of course, I say that to you. I know you talk to your phone, but I'm just saying, you, you still said it. I wouldn't have said that in front of Nana. She would have she had a whole attitude. She would have bought your lips up. Sure would have. <laughs> <laughs> sure would have. Yep. You're going to go in? But like I said, we're going to go in here. I'm just going to go see what I, see what they have. And then we're gonna go, oh shoot, we're gonna go in Sephora. Y'all, Keelan took two hours to get ready. An hour and a half was of that? She said she was doing her skincare routine. Two hours and 15 minutes. And I didn't know if Two hours and 15 going, minutes. An hour and a half goes by, she said she was doing her skincare routine. I was waiting on you on the couch, that's why I kept editing. I dozed off 75 times. I thought you were still contemplating. No, I had made up my decision on that. I was contemplating on, we were supposed to go play tennis today. When I tell y'all my legs are extremely sore. So that's what I was- on your phone. Uh, yeah. That's what I was contemplating on was going to play tennis. Cause I know I can't be moving fast and running back and forth like that. Cause my legs are sore. But we about to go in Target. I'll pick y'all up when we get inside. Okay, y'all, we inside. So these earrings I actually have in my ear right now, and they're kind of fading off. And I am so happy I came in here and they still sell the earrings. So I'm gonna get this pair. 
And then I'm gonna get these right here, just for like some everyday earrings. I was about to turn around and stick these in my purse. Oh my God. <laughs> Instead of putting them in the bag. Put them in the bag. I was gonna be sick with I noticed this, like when I caught myself doing it. But he was just told me I smell like candle wax. She can have the candle so close, y'all. And not the angles do not be here. When I be watching her videos, I be like, I wish I was there just to get the camera because <laughs> <laughs> she don't be doing it right. Oh, they got them in the big size. Oh, this in the three size. I want this. I want three. What you think about this double in this size? I like it that. You do? These turn? Yeah. No, they don't. I do like all these little balls. Yeah. Which one? I'm gonna get one pair. Which one are you thinking? Curls. I do not like curls. I love curls. Well, you know what? You look like you like curls. I'm gonna say one. Okay, man. I'm gonna love today, y'all. Yeah. She smells like. This one like candle wax. And I have on the, the, the I have on the dupe for um the They trying to get in the bed. Huh? They trying to get in the bed. They come some. Uh, I have on the dupe for Bianco Latte. And it so the one, the new dupe, that's what I got on. That and Fleur vanilla skin. You ain't even smelled it. That's what I have on What you got on? Fleur vanilla skin. I'm talking about you. You know what I'm saying. Which ones you think I should get? Those. Why? You already got these. Yeah, they're they... fading off. But you should get these because they're bigger and yeah. How you you know? already got something like that. How you know? What? That you got something like this? Yeah. Because you do. Most of your earrings are like this. <laughs> I kind of want to keep the Amazon. small ones. Look, I asked her which one of them when she don't agree with the one that I want. I tell her I want a different one. I like the little ones. I'm gonna get these. How much are these? $8. Mm -hmm. They cheap on you? <laughs> how much they last? I mean, how long they be lasting? I've had these earrings since last year. Oh, that's good. They just started fading? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna get these. It's kind of my favorite pair of earrings. Oh, it's right there. People sure don't ever have any. The ends be gone. Is there really that many people with the name? They the always e. got A and K. How do you have to get A's? That's okay. Feeling. Let's point it out. I wish I would. Them look like granny. Yes. <laughs> no. The next one. Yeah. Do these look like granny shoes, y'all? I wish the heel, if the heel was a little bit taller, I wouldn't be questioning them because I love this. I part. mean, you can't make them. You. How much are they? 35. I'm going to need Target to stop acting like they do it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to Let's look at the clothes that's it. Oh, look at Janae. They act, they don't got nothing for her line in here. This it? You believe it or not, she used to work at Target. She was a manager. She quit and started doing content creation and now look. They don't have nothing. She got a whole lot of she pieces. My video the other day when I was talking about, you remember when I was talking about Walgreens in my video? She <laughs> said she watched it. <laughs> She's like, I don't need to stop talking about Walgreens. Yeah, don't say the name. <laughs>
Yeah, look what I found. I found Janae's stuff in here, but baby, they don't have nothing. They got this, whatever this is. This what she made. She made a whole lot more than this, but like a bunch of stuff that I saw that was cute, but maybe it's picked over because it came out like two weeks ago. Oh, this is cute. I can't do nothing with no six. <laughs> Like she started doing fashion content on um, Instagram and that's how she blew up. So of course she do TikTok and uh, YouTube too. That's really cute. It looks like a suit jacket. $38, that's not bad, but I know I can't. I can't keep it. It's thin. It's good. That's a Billy Eilish shirt. Hit me hard and soft. Oh my God. <laughs> Sounds like her. <laughs> Do you wanna be? <laughs> that girl be moving so fast and I still get paranoid like when she was young. Where is you at? This is cute. It's a big, but to be actually small. Or maybe it's the this skirt, 22. That ain't bad, I don't think, for that. You think so? This should be 10. <laughs> she thinks she had dirt cheap, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, them kind of funky. Like, these are real, real old school back in the day. But if you wear these the right way, these would possibly be cute. I think I would wear these. They cute. They they old school. Like, like these came out when I was a teenager. They heavy. Yeah, they look like it. Can <laughs> you pay thirty two dollars, please? Mm, maybe. Yeah. If I really wanted them, I would. They're really cute though. I think I like them. And you could dress those with heels or sneakers. <laughs> I'm sick of this. <laughs> oh my god. I like those. But I'm not here for clothes. You see it, baby. Right back there with that little person. She's blocking. Yeah. <laughs> and then you should have seen them people. You're going to see it. Oh. That's too funny. Well, they don't really see people do it here. So, But people look at the camera anyway when you have the camera out. But I just make sure ain't nobody else in my camera. I look like an egg. With my hair. <laughs> oh, that top is cute too. The brown one? Yeah. Cute. Shade. It's like, it's like a. Oh, it's a set. Oh, I don't need that. I literally have two of these in my trunk that I ordered from Fashion Over. Never worn. Because I can't fit, fit the pants. They need to be taken out or something. I don't remember. All right, y'all. We're gonna walk down to the. Hi, James. They're on the main road, so she's gonna put the camera up. Is that? Um, she be down me. No, I just want to make sure you ain't gonna get into something and then decide. I don't like it. What have I did that be? Softball. Because that's not funny because that was she so long she ago. Was a kid. Oh, I need to get some mighty patience. How much do these cars are walking? $7.99 in here. Mighty Patch Invisible. Keep it. Why y'all don't ever get the invisible? Why they still $9.99? I mean, Why they $2 more? Baby, I don't need the invisible for that. I mean, oh, My co-worker yeah. the other day was like, you know you got that patch? I do. <laughs> I don't care. Hold 
They got patty patches. Curology in here. <clears throat> it's $15.99. For it. In Walgreens? It's a thimble's be for a 72 pack. <laughs> They don't say like curry fries or any store. I know we got them though. Hey, I just don't remember how much they are. I wish I could try this. All right here. Yeah, we're not doing that. I just get them from here. Watch I go somewhere and that be six six ninety nine. We have hydro collapse spot dances. Yeah, they got the same thing. Oh, Frenchie got this scent is cashmere vanilla. Body and hair radiance oil. I just don't feel like you can put the same oil in your hair that you can put right. on your body. I just don't feel. I don't feel like that's a thing. Oh, I like oh these stuff. What's this? What is that? Oh, Santo. Hey, oh, Santo. It's sixteen ninety nine. I like that. That's cute. You like that? See, this is something that I don't need. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is my perfume. <laughs> Lemon. Oh, let me glow. Let me, let me purr. <laughs> that is crazy. With the what? Burberry. Let me glow hair and it, like, literally, that's what it says. No. Let me glow. Hmm. I'm going to start taking vitamins. What is it? Yeah. They open. Yeah, they didn't have no paper. They do, but it's oh. open. Pineapple and vitamin C. Those smell good. I just don't be liking when vitamins cost thirty dollars. This company sent me. You want to make slime? Oh Lord. This company. It's trending again, so it's making me want to. Is it? I saw a video about this. Um, doing it on carpet. Oh. <laughs> what? Because they started doing it on carpet. And somebody did it on carpet. Oh, they got the unbrush in here. They starting to do it on floor. Yeah. Instead of bowls. Y'all know EOS got new scents, but I don't think they come out. I think somebody said the 13th. And I want them. Coconut water. Oh, they say about this. I hate it before, but I didn't use it consistently enough. I need to stop buying stuff that I'm not going to continue to use. I used to use it too. Keelan, you don't, do you use it? Do y'all use in shower body lotion? I used to use I have the old the, way. Uh, what's that brand? I used to have it. Panty? That's fine. I forgot what brand you would. No, it was Olay. It was Olay. That's Coco Butter. Olay's body. Yeah. In shower lotion. Yeah. I can't even smell it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it don't have no scent. It smells like Rick Nivea. That's what it's supposed to be. But it'll smell good once you use it. <laughs> I guess I need to use the one that I have, huh? See, that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. But that's the thing. You don't like cocoa butter? I do, but I never stick to it. I have that in the room. I'm talking about the one down pond. I should have put it fresh inside. <laughs> Get all your breath. <laughs> you upset. What? what? Lotion. <laughs> Ooh, this 
it's the black girl sunscreen. Hmm. You don't like them? Absolutely will not be buying them for three dollars. You get this? No, I want to smell it. Like something I used to wear. Like, I'd be scared to do your um chocolate. You have to open the legs up. Okay. You ever heard of the um black girl sunscreen? Yeah. You don't want to try it? No. I'm gonna start wearing sunscreen on my body too. I don't be outside enough. Like I don't put it on every day because I don't be outside every day. But like when I went to the beach with Clayton, I put it on. I'll be feeling like I can get toasted. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna try to talk close because we're in Sephora and I was just looking at these Fenty Icon lipsticks. So the shade, this is this is what the container looks like. And it's clear like that on the end. So this shade is red, all right? Beautiful red. But when I tell y'all, I done scrubbed my hand in, keep my hand with makeup remover, and look at this. Y'all see that? Still there. Keelan's is still red right here. And that's it not a red skin. <laughs> it is so freaking pretty. It's $29 and it's the Velvet Liquid Lipstick. One swipe, full coverage color. They are not lying about that. All right, let me get off of here because I got music in the background. So we went in Sephora and Sorry. Uh, and Target. Keelan <laughs> is a horrible camera woman right now. And I literally did not find anything that I wanted or that I needed. I really didn't need anything. I just wanted to do a hygiene haul. All I got was some Mighty Patches, those earrings, and then I bought this body wash. I bought this body wash, Papa Tui. Um, and this is Cedar Sport. This is The Rocks uh, hygiene brand. I bought this for my boyfriend. That's it. There was nothing that I needed in either place that I felt like I just, oh, I want this or nothing. I think I did good, even though my intentions were to. I didn't want to hold it and drive, but I guess I will. Even though my intentions were to, um, do like a full haul. I had even in my head kind of gave myself a, a limit. Like I was gonna do like a hundred dollars, see what I could get if I found stuff I wanted for a hundred dollars. Nothing, nothing at all. Which I can't complain because that mean I went out here just randomly spending money on stuff. But now it's like, hmm, what can I spend my hundred dollars on? Then I well, I spent twenty. That stuff was twenty five dollars. So technically, I still have seventy five left. <laughs> but. I don't know. It's just crazy that I went out to actually do this and not, they found nothing. I wasn't going to buy, like I said, no random body washes because they break my chest and my back out. So I wasn't going to do that. And really, what else was I supposed to get? I don't know. But we're about to go. Look at Keelan. Keelan phone is always That is sad. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it didn't do it to me. It did it to your boss yeah. and somebody else. That's what to say. But yeah, I'm about to go get something something to eat. And she wants some ice cream. Snowball. Snowball. With some chili cheese dogs. Oh, you, she, you, what, what used to be in Mouse Point? What was it called? 
The doghouse. Yeah. Oh, you miss the doghouse, don't it? The doghouse used to be so good. It was a snowball stand at Moss Point. But they sold, like, movie theater food, like nachos, chili cheese dogs, like, stuff like that. That's what ice cream we sell. Oh, they do? Mm-hmm. That's funny. We were just talking about that the other day. He was like, why you on Keelan? And you and Keelan ain't never mentioned it. I was like, I don't know. He was like, Keelan don't even go there. You want ice cream or more? Yeah. I do like sometimes when I think about it. I told him, I was like, I never think about that place. I just, I don't know. I never did. And I ain't going to be running to no ice cream shop at Echo Dairy Club. <laughs> that's mm. that's stuff I was like. But yeah, so we about to leave something to eat and then head back towards home, I guess, because I ain't find nothing. Okay, y'all, I thought I had, so I thought I had a lash appointment today. It is actually tomorrow. When I walked in the house, I was like, wait a minute, it's the 11th. My appointment is on the 12th. So, I need y'all to help me decide where we put an eclair. Because I just did the review on eclair. I posted it today, actually. So if you have not seen that review by the time you see this video, go on down below and watch that. Okay, yeah. So... <laughs> Okay, so what I'm missing right now off of the shelves are Okja Calon that normally sits right there. So this isn't going there. Then we got Baccarat that's going to sit right there. And then Jazab Gold. Oh, I'm missing my today's fragrance too, but it sits right there. One sits there and the other one, Mont Blanc, sits there. So that space, this space, that space, this space. I have no space for this something has to be moved i put this right here i'm gonna open it in the corner so y'all can actually see what i'm working with something has to be moved because this is this is also like a tall bottle so like if i put it somewhere it can't go like on the back row it has to go like i preferably on the second row because of its height and then it's tan this is the black section so, I don't have a tan section. Like this one down here is kind of like a random area because the stuff down there really doesn't match anything. This is a random area. This is kind of red and colorful. Everything else like this, these two rows are pink. This one's gold. This one's black, black and gold. This one is like white, of course, see turquoise greens, colorful. This one is the only random section, but there's a fragrance that goes right here, and if I put it, when I put it back there, I won't have room. This, nope, it's good. It won't fit like that, Nadia. Okay, so. Y'all, this right here, this is, this needs to come off. Because that's taking up space, and it ain't even all like that. <laughs> Mayar, Mayar, I should have gave Mayar away also, but I'm trying to give Mayar the benefit of the doubt. But Mayar ain't talking about nothing. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the bag. I'm gonna bring Mayar down. I'm gonna put me Claire right there. Put Mayar right there. Okay, and this is knee. I don't care where you be, because I don't even like you like be. <laughs> that, that <one. laughs> I really don't care where Vanille goes, to be honest, because I'm not a fan. Like, Vanille is alright. Like, this is one of those things I just wear to the gym just because I spent my... It was only $30. Well, I ain't going to say only, because every penny counts, because it's ridiculous out here. But yeah, so this was like $30, but... I'm just not going to let this bottle stress me out. It was over here. I moved it back over there because I needed, I didn't have, I mean, I had space. So now I'm just going to put it back over there because. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to move, maneuver this stuff. This freaking Machino, this Machino was not down here, but I was like, I cannot remember where Machino it was. I'm going to have to look back at like an old video to see where Machino was because it was not right there. It was on one of these shelves. Y'all probably know better than I do. I'm going to look back on one of those and see where Machino was because this is how much work be going into this stuff. So I'm going to put Mayar back where it was so that I can do this reel of me adding Eclair 
and then I'm gonna but you got to be able to see eclair when I add it so and then I'm gonna go back and move it where I actually want it to sit all right I ain't then okay so we're gonna this I do my this is janky who want to give me some real tips okay I press play and say, okay. No, move really. it. Start over. Maybe I need to grab it. I want you to be able to see that it's eclair. Help! It's like I brought it out of the shadows and then put it where it goes. Kind of scooched the other stuff out of the way. And then boom. See? Uh-oh. Let me show y'all what I did. It ain't like it's... I, I, I'm having to... I'm having to make it a habit and get used to doing reels. Because when I call myself starting... When they put me in like that little reels program, they capped me out at like fifty dollars. They made it too. It's like post five reels a week or something like that, and you can, and then you'll make fifty dollars. And I'm like, is it gonna grow? I know darn well this ain't what people are doing. Like it didn't make sense. I did that, made the fifty dollars, and then that's when they started having trouble. I don't know what started going on with Instagram, but then they stopped it, and I'm like, but now I'm supposedly in back able to monetize reels. So I am on threads, you guys. Go follow me on threads. I'm on threads. It's the Nadia the same thing on Instagram. Um, I was just looking at that. That's what made me think about that. It is hot up in here. Now when I sit down, I'm going to actually... I have a video I need to edit. I'm so ready to redo my nails. When I redo my nails this time, I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm going to show you guys how to... Um, how I do my nails. Okay, so let me actually move this back where it's going to sit now. Oh, it clear smells good. I could smell it just then out of the bottle. Oh my God, it's getting better. Okay. So that's that. Fragrance fit for tomorrow. So y'all know every night I pick out what I'm wearing to the gym. Oh, well, not to the gym. Well, to the gym, but to work the next day. What do we feel like? I need to be wearing bun number nine after place, but that's really like a winter scent. And I really don't like it like that anyway. I be having to make myself wear that. Let me get y'all off my off my boob and bring y'all up. So. Alright, let's see. Do I feel like wearing this? Ajwad? Ajwad, Ajwad is strong. Ajwad and... Sarosa 40. Yeah. This is see this is how I do it. I, I gotta kinda feel like how I I want have to feel like I wanna wear something. And I sniff them. Sniff them together. Sometimes I spray them. A lot of times I don't. I just go off of my sniffs and that's my scent. So got the body cream. I gotta put my shoes back in the closet. So this closet. This closet right here, right here, this closet is like my hoodies. I got jeans and jumpsuits and stuff like that on the second level. But all this up here is like shirts and hoodies. Y'all, this closet is so fragile. I know y'all can barely see because it's dark, but good. I want to keep it dark so y'all can <laughs> see it. Even though I'm showing sure y'all, but this is like where I keep most of my weekend clothes. And when I tell y'all, this closet... I need a new closet. I need another one. Well, I do need a new one because I want a big, hot, bigger house. But um, I need a bigger closet. I just keep my work shoes up there out of the way because I did. these were the shoes that I had stacked in the corner, remember? Over, over there. And then when I wanted to 
kind of clear my room up, I put them in the top of the closet and they work better over there. I actually, the shoes that I have on my shelf, I think I'm gonna get rid of those too and put them. I really don't know where I wanna put them. What I think I'm gonna do is easy because I need them to be easy reach. Kind of even, even easier than these. I'm gonna put, you know, them old school shoe racks <laughs> that people would hang up their door. I'm gonna put it on this door, but I'm gonna put it on the inside of this closet because of course I don't want it on the outside. But I'm gonna put it on the inside so I can have the shoes out to where I can just grab them fast, but nobody will see them. Because right now when my clients and stuff come over here, they can see them. And they're sitting out there, even though they're kind of like this plate, I still don't just want them out there like that. <sighs> it's hot. I need to go take a shower and do what I, I need to go take a shower before my boyfriend gets here because I try to be out of the shower by the time he gets here because He's like moving around a lot at work and I know he'd be hot and I know he don't want to have to sit there and wait for me to get out of the shower because I've been in here doing extra stuff because I wouldn't. If I would have knew, if I would have realized that my last appointment was tomorrow instead of today, I would have actually went to Walmart when I got off work because I think my meal prep is almost gone. Uh, you know what that means. I'm going to have to eat out tomorrow for lunch and I don't enjoy that. Okay, let me go get in the shower, y'all. I'm all up. I'm all up on this camera. It's dark in here because he got the of the window blocked. But yeah, let me go get in the shower.